Okay, in this example, um, we want to use uh, the graph of a function uh, to solve uh, the quadratic inequality shown here. Uh, 3x squared plus 10x uh, is less than or equal to 8. So um, let me rewrite this inequality. And by um, setting one side of this inequality uh, to zero, uh, we can see um, the formula for the function uh, that we're going to use um, to solve or to help us solve uh, this inequality. So I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides of the inequality and that uh, gives me an equivalent inequality 3x squared plus 10x minus 8 uh, less than or equal to 0. And so I'm going to think of the uh, left-hand side of this inequality as uh, the formula for a uh, function, uh, which I'm going to call uh, f. So we can rewrite this inequality as uh, f of x less than or equal to 0. Uh, f f is the function 3x squared plus 10x minus 8. <clears throat> So uh, what this um, rewritten inequality tells us is um, that uh, we're looking for the inputs x to the function f uh, that will make the matching output less than or equal to zero. It's these inputs x that are going to be the solutions to uh, this inequality, um, 3x squared plus 10x minus 8 less than or equal to zero, and therefore uh, also solutions to the original inequality. So. Um, we can find these inputs x by uh, observing the graph of the function f. So uh, here we have uh, the graph of the function f uh, drawn. This is the graph of the function 3x squared plus 10x minus uh, 8. And uh, so we can see from the graph um, that the inputs uh, x that are going to make uh, the matching output f of x less than or equal to 0, uh, those are going to be uh, the uh, uh, x values that are between uh, the two uh, x-intercepts uh, on the graph because it's between these two x-intercepts where uh, the graph uh, notice is below the x-axis so uh, it's between these two x-intercepts uh, this set of inputs uh, where the matching outputs are going to be less than or equal to zero. So I know that the solution set for my inequality would be uh, this uh, interval uh, between the two x-intercepts um, on the graph um, uh, of the function f. Now the x-intercepts themselves are also included in my solution set for the inequality because remember if you um, uh, use either of the x-intercepts as input to the function f uh, the matching output will be exactly zero and so you'll get zero less than or equal to zero uh, which of course is a true statement. So uh, to get the exact um, uh, 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 set of solutions to my inequality, I need to find the exact values for these two x-intercepts. Um, and we can do that, or attempt to do that, by taking our function formula, 3x squared uh, plus 10x uh, minus 8, and setting that to 0 and uh, seeing if we can solve this equation. Now, um, it turns out that um, this is a quadratic equation, of course, because the unknown is squared. And uh, it turns out that we can solve this quadratic equation by uh, factoring, uh, because this expression, uh, 3x squared plus 10x minus 8, uh, factors uh, rather easily. In fact, it's going to factor as um, 3x uh, uh, plus 4 and then, I'm sorry, x plus 4, and then 3x uh, minus 2. So um, we know that um, 3x minus 2 must be 0, uh, must be equal to 0, or x plus 4 uh, must be equal to 0. And so we get two possible solutions, of course, to our quadratic equation. Uh, one possible solution is x is equal to 2 thirds, and then the second possible solution is x equal to uh, minus 4. So uh, there are the exact values for the two x-intercepts uh, for my function f. Uh, one of the x-intercepts is minus 4. That's pretty easy to see uh, in the graph of the function f. And then this uh, positive x-intercept is, uh, turns out that that's exactly x equal uh, 2 thirds. So this interval between the x-intercepts 
uh, is going to be um, uh, the interval from uh, minus 4 on the x-axis to positive 2 thirds on the x-axis. And this will be then the solution set uh, to my original uh, inequality. So it's the interval from minus 4, including minus 4, uh, up to uh, 2 thirds. Uh, any number chosen from this interval, including minus 4 and including 2 thirds, uh, will be solutions uh, to uh, my original inequality. Because again, these are going to be the inputs uh, that will make the uh, matching output for the function f less than or equal uh, to 0.